Governor Brad Little stopped at the College of Southern Idaho and Twin to discuss a variety of topics, but perhaps the most heavily discussed was the COVID vaccine distribution plan. Idaho News 6 reporter Alex Grant has more on how the governor plans to effectively get the vaccine out as efficiently as possible. The Idaho Department of Health and Welfare says Idaho will not see a large increase of vaccines from the previously announced release of second doses. Yet the federal government assured it will still supply an extra 950 doses per week. Due to these circumstances, the governor is stressing the importance of residents receiving the vaccine. The scheduling is so important and it's important for people, and I want to emphasize this, if they set up an appointment to show up for their appointment, because if they don't show up for their appointment, that means all that infrastructure sitting there and the worst case scenario is the end of the day, we have some vaccine that goes bad. As the vaccines are shipped to health districts, clinics and hospitals, the governor was clear that consistent communication is key to get the doses out. I've got them scheduled, I think every week to talk to every health district with uh, whether it be the hospitals, the long term care facilities, the pharmacies. Uh, this is really critical to me that we get this vaccine out. There is still a concern with how the vaccines can get out to more secluded or rural areas. We're, we're going to have to put incentives in place here, but you know, those people are uh, often used to going to town anyway, but uh, we'll do both. We'll send out clinics there and then we'll try and schedule them so they can come to town. To try and help, the governor is utilizing the state's National Guard. I want them to surge into vaccine because that's so important. So if, they're, if, if a health district or a community doesn't have enough resources to do vaccine and they're doing contact tracing or testing, we're going to move them into. The governor stated how the next priority group will begin having their vaccinations administered February 1st. In Twin Falls, I'm Alex Grant, Idaho News 6.